Welcome to the rich Avalon in the north central Nigeria, profiled by nature to nurture diverse possibilities, an incubator of human capital, a fountain of natural resources, and an abode of coordinated peaceful life embedded in rich cultural heritage and tourist attractions. Welcome to unlimited economic possibilities. Welcome to Niger State, the power state. Created on the third day of February, 1976, with current population of over 4 million people, effectively administered under 25 strategically structured local government areas, Niger State has consistently sustained human capital development, economic expansion, investment, and technological exploration. The lifestyle of the state cruises and a blend of robust cultures and artistic tourism. With its name originally derived from the longest river in the country, River Niger, which bothers the state in a crescent tourist outlook. The extended diversity is colored in the impactful cultures and tourist destinations which offer a combination of relaxation, revenue generation, and preservation. This buoyant north central state is outstandingly radiating a timeless administrative excellence and accelerated internally generated revenue diligently compassed by integrity under the exemplary leadership of His Excellency Abubakar San Bello with evidential determination to enlist the state on the world map of economic buoyancy with passionate focus on agriculture, solid minerals, and tourism. I want to let you know that Niger State, in the community of states in Nigeria, is one of the richest places in cultural activities and tourism sites where people can come in to, to, to learn and also to, to see and feel relaxed. All through the year, we have the Gurara cultural show, we have the Shagunu, the Barugu, and the Kamuku cultural show, the Dobas that we used to, to have. Yeah, this, all these have been arranged into calendar, which people can actually come and see when this uh, event takes place in this environment. Some of the magnetic sports in the tourist circle of the state is the Gurara Waterfalls, a classic masterpiece of Mother Nature in the calm serenity of Bunu Village along Mina Sulija Road. We have the Zuma Rock, which is very close to uh, Suleja and Abuja. Uh, it's, it's popular, it's well known. In fact, the world over, you, you don't mention Zuma Rock twice because it's been so popular that it's even one of the currencies we have here in Nigeria. So it's a popular place. Bida brass and glass work. At the moment, the state government is doing its best. The, the government of Alaji Abakasani Bello had put in place structures that will lead to people coming to invest. We're also working on the Shagunu. We're also working on Baru. You will remember very well that uh, the government of Nigeria had dreaded the River Niger to bring in ships from the sea into the interland. A harbor has been built at uh, Baro, and um, that is the village or the town that hosts the Empire Hill. So we, you, I want to reassure you that Niger State and indeed our people are working 
to see that these uh, sites are developed into international resource centers where people or tourists can come all over the world to feel and to learn. Government cannot do all the work, but government can bring in the enabling environment for businesses to develop these places and strive. And this is what the government of this state is doing. Niger State covers a total land area of about 83,266,779 square kilometers, which equals about 8.3 million hectares. Interesting. About 85% of the land in is arable with a conducive weather. Generally speaking, the climate, soil, and hydrology of the state permits the cultivation of most of Nigeria's staple crops and allows sufficient opportunities for grazing, freshwater fishing, and forestry development. Crops that can be produced in large quantities for export value includes maize, cassava, soya beans, rice. You find out in every local government we have such uh, rice processing, small rice processing need that process what our local farmers do produce year in, year out. So we produce rice in large quantities in Niger State. The vast land fertility of Niger State presents naturally irrigated plains where profitable rice farming can facilitate both national investment, consumption source and export terminal. Additionally, farmers and investors have intensified their efforts to explore what nature has offered in the area of yam production, another bountiful crop exceeding harvest expectations in the state. The majority of the yam consumed in Nigeria is produced in Zumbi. A lot of farmers key into this farming this uh, product. So these crops are produced in large quantities and can be exported along the shores of, the, of uh, Africa and the world in general. Niger State, no doubt, is a beacon of fertility, fulcrum of diversity, and river of dependability, especially in economically viable crops like share tree. Dominantly, the robust growth of share tree and fruitful harvest of share nuts in an unlimited quantity are definitely the greatest gift of nature to the state. So we are looking for investor that will invest in this sector. We have started uh, producing and processing share nut oil. The share butter, which is the product of the nut of these rich African share tree, is economically viable multi-purpose species, widely used for cosmetics, pharmaceutical products, and chocolate production. The export and economic value of these nuts cuts across many countries and continents, making its relevance timelessly profitable. What nurture has given to the soil in terms of fertility, it has also given to livestock in terms of fruitfulness. The merchandise of beef and dairy in profitable dimension is on top gear. With vast wetland resources, totaling over 72,234 hectares of water surface area, fishing activities have become a source of employment for the teeming populace. These fresh and well patronized ponds ascertain the degree at which fishery with diverse species is fitting into the economic map of the state. The completeness of Niger State is in the totality of our natural endowment reflecting appreciative organics in every channel of mineral resources. 
Niger State is rich in a lot of resources, not just solid minerals, but obviously hydrocarbon as well. The power state has also received these natural deposits in surplus donation in the ranks of precious metals. Gold undoubtedly is among the leads, another bedrock for guaranteed economic security and intergenerational values. We have gold scattered around the three geopolitical zones of the state. We have silica sand in the eastern part of the state. We have talc, mainly around Rafi local government. We have kaolin around the southern part of the state. Quite a lot of kaolin, actually. And kaolin, being an industrial mineral, this is actually one of the focal minerals because the federal government is currently assisting companies that are into the mining of industrial minerals, which we have quite a few of. Others are silica, granite, iron, and gemstone all tag the state on the strategic map of National Solid Mineral Spine, beaconing viable exploration, an advantage too close and alluring for connected industries and objective industrialists to miss. The mineral sector is one of the key focal sectors of this present administration. His Excellency al Haji Abakar Sani Bello has emphasized the importance of this particular sector that has been neglected for quite a number of years. And we're doing all we can to make sure that we open up this sector to investors and anyone willing to come into Niger State. One of the projects we're currently working on is to set up a data room whereby investors are welcome to the state and they can actually, within this data room, view and see where minerals are deposited around the state. Once an interest is shown in a particular mineral, it is now the duty of the Zuma Mineral Development Company to work closely with the investor and follow the guidelines that have been set out by the federal government, which first would be to get the consent of the local community and then work all the way up to the federal government to obtain a mining or an exploration license. What more can define endowment? In totality, Niger states demonstrates, displays, agricultural heritage, tourist diversity, solid minerals buoyancy, investment conduciveness and trade potentials. Simply exquisite. Think investment, think resettlement, then definitely think Niger State, the past state.